in the last video we got the radiator mounted so I've been sitting here staring at this thing and I want to build a sheet metal cover shroud not really a shroud whatever whatever the hell you want to call it for this so we could build it and keep it flat and build it real easy we'd basically just have to cut out that shape maybe like break a little edge or something it's basically what i did on my truck except i added some dimple dies or we can uh we can over complicate this thing a little bit i choose that one let's get started I want this thing to sit underneath this lip around here. I considered the idea of putting something that went on top of here, but I think it'd look better with something underneath there, leaving all this factory paint. Uh, it's not gonna come out all the way past this, but I want it to come out in this area, at least cover up this hose, the majority of it. So we gotta consider that for some clearancing. And the more I keep looking at it, the more I want to follow this shape here. Because as it runs in, it's curving up, across, and then down. And I think something tucked up underneath there that did that would look bitching. And I've got another idea I want to do on it too. But the first thing we need to do is get this thing somewhat uh, close with the pattern. So I'm going to take some poster board and do the very unfun job of getting us a template. Got us a template. I actually ended up splitting it and adding an eighth inch of material on each side. That'll be for a little bit later. Uh, but now I need to transfer this thing to some metal and get it cut out. cut out it's looking all right try to set it down in here but it's a little long from me adding that extra eighth inch on each side uh, but the next thing I want to do is actually break this to take up that slack of material so I don't know if you can see but basically right there it's kicking up and then kind of right there kind of flattens back out so that's what we're going to try to match so i'm going to get us a couple of marks on here on each side and we're going to take it to the sheet metal break <laughs> comments try to tell me what I should have done or how I should have done it I'm gonna say two things one I'm not a sheet metal guy I keep telling the world that two I made a, a, a test panel kind of doing it like this and it turned out pretty good it actually does this kind of little taper I like <laughs>
Definitely not the order I planned on doing this. But from breaking this, we're too short on these ends. So, I really don't have much to lose at this point on this piece. So there's like a quarter inch gap there before and now you can see a tiny little slit right there but you wouldn't even notice that notice that if everything was painted black so that front edge is a, a little whoopy dude but I think with a hammer and dolly little shrinker stretch shrinker stretcher action we can get that cleaned back up so you can kind of see how that follows that and it, it don't just hug it perfect, but still, it kind of follows some of the, the shape of it, which looks better than just a flat piece to me. Now this next part's where we're probably gonna totally ruin this piece, especially since we've had to do all this. I don't know this thing can even run through the bead roller, but we're gonna try it. And I wanna copy these body lines that are on these fender wells, which is the same stuff that I've put on the rear floor or in the floor pans. Basically, it's going to be a one inch strip across here. We're going to stop before the ends. We're not taking it all the way through. So it would be nice if we could do a little pre-stretch with the English wheel. But considering we've already put all this in here, that ain't going to happen. So let me plot a line across here and we'll run it through the bead roller and just see what the hell happens. I mean, I ain't mad at it. Most of those tooling marks right there will sand out. It didn't really appear to work a whole lot. It is a little bit, but we could do a little uh, shrinking, stretching. Like I said, here on the front, kind of clean it up. Let me see how it fits real quick. So it looks like it's actually fitting up there decent. So next thing I'm gonna do is around this curve right here. I'm gonna try to shrink that some, maybe break this. It's just down a hair. That way it's not just a flat end. I should have accounted for that before. Let me give this thing a little clean up on some of these corners. I did a little bit better fit up 
I used the cutoff wheel to notch that right there. It was hitting on that. Then after that, I had to trim a little bit more of this side to get it sucked back, to suck back where it'd be level. We're back the same amount, which it pulls back the same amount. So I have center marked right here. And to mount this, what I'm gonna end up doing is I took some scrap, eighth inch thick plate. I'm gonna end up dropping down just the right am amount of distance right there and tacking that on there. And I'll end up putting a nut cert in this, and then we'll end up drilling a hole here and using a crater maker to uh, dimple this metal before we put a screw in it or a bolt in it. So let me get going on that. two things I need to show real quick one this morning I finished mounting this thing up with two more bolts and just added two more tabs to the core support and then I'd missed this hole so bad that I actually cut a circle uh, welded this thing back up found center and hole sawed it when I seen that was good I actually just dimpled it and it would have been better to plan for this because that dimple got over here on the end and I had to do some hammer and dolly work to try to create a little edge on there again and make it blend with that dimple. So it would have been better to plan that from the start, but that's all right. It still worked out pretty good and it looks better than me having an offset hole on there uh, that's in the total, totally wrong spot. Well, that's it for our shroud video. I'm glad I fixed this. It's bothering me pretty bad that that hole was offset. Uh, but overall, this thing turned out really good, I think. I think it ties everything together. And it kind of looks like it could have been here from the factory. We have it matching how that kicks up there at the hood latch and back down. We have the body line that matches our fender wells. And it covers up that radiator that has kind of more of a custom look to it anyways with the louvers and electric fans so I think it helps hide that so I hope you got an idea or maybe learn something that could help you from this video the main thing being don't be scared to go for it I've never done all this uh, stuff before and it turned out bitching so if you guys are on Instagram I'm on there at Putin's Fab Shop if y'all want to help me out all you gotta do is drop a comment down below, like the video, share, or subscribe if you're new to the channel. All those things help the channel grow, so I always appreciate it when you guys do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But don't forget, sitting on your ass, finish your project. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, baby.